today, the Bafang UV 5X. Little booklet, little card. There's the radio. The noise outside because they're doing some work out there. And what we've got in there, we've got Ippies. And a nice proper UK mains plug and power adapter. Belt clip. And a standard, standard charger base. And normal antenna. And the belt strap. This is what you get when it's all laid out. Um, all fairly self explanatory. The earpiece microphone. And uh, that looks like a fairly standard little base charger. It doesn't look like it's compatible with the UV5. I would check that though. And there's the little radio itself. It's quite slim actually. Very light. Um, just peeled off the stick off the top of it. Usual SMA connector there. This is the uh, the antenna is a female SMA. And you can see that. And it's a See what it says on the battery. In my glasses here. 1800 milliamp hour, 7.4 volts. From there. This is how it compares to the other radios. Anyway, a little bit of a, give you a bit of an idea. There's the 5X compared to the the uh, UV5R Plus. Similar, similar size, slightly bigger. Uh, the uh, the 5Xs. And uh, there's the UV82. All in, in comparison. Charge is really nice on this. On the uh, GT3, it's a real fiddle to get it into the charger. On this one, it's nice. It, it it just it's got little guides in the side there, and it just drops in. You know, it's it's in with the, with the GT3. That's the one downside. The, the drop in charges a real fiddle on that to get it in there properly. So yeah, thumbs up to uh, Baofeng for uh, sorting that this radio out. connected up to Chirp. Um, I'm just using uh, the version from last year. And uh, I downloaded the uh, all of the uh, the channels from the, my standard UVR UV5R Plus, and then just copied those uh, straight over. So the right radio's connected up. Um, if you haven't got one of these cables, suggest, I suggest you get one. They're really important for uh, programming. You can't do it without it, uh, and it's all connected up. Same procedure, and we just go. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Radio. Upload to radio, COM9, OK, and it says cloning, and it's flickering the green light on there, let's get it to focus, there we go, now it takes a few minutes, that's done. It feels quite nice uh, in the hand, this radio, um, it doesn't feel quite as well made, if I'm being honest, as the, f as the older radios it, it, it feels like they've cut corners a little bit on quality with this it's more it's more like I'd, I'd say it's more like the Tonfa uh, the the cheaper Tonfa which is a supposedly 8 watt radio it's more like the, the build quality of this which is fine but it doesn't feel quite as good as the early Baofangs and it's certainly not up to the quality of the uh, of the of the Watson uh, nowhere near uh, but I must say the keypad does seem really nice the keypad's nice and positive. Um, I've just programmed this radio up. I'll just uh, go and change the uh, change the menus now to show Menu. the names. And then we go out. There we go. The radios are all set. Um, two, three, five, eight, one, one, two, repeater. one, one. We'll get it plugged into the power meter anyway and see what it does. All right, we've got the little um, <coughs> antenna that comes supplied with the radio. Uh, hooked up to the uh, SWR meter here and um, we got it reading uh, off of uh, the lower scale there the 5 watt scale and um, I'll try and keep my hand as steady as I can here um, this is on UHF um, plugged into the standard antenna so we're just getting shy of 3 watts there 2.8 watts that's a bit more than the uh, UV82 actually uh, that's slightly less on UHF. If I uh, change over on the radio to uh, to two meters, we should get the full five watts there. Ah, oh, just slightly shy four. Uh, on the UV82, we're getting five watts there. So when they say it's a five watt radio, um, they're, they're, uh, that's a VHF uh, 
reference these radios always put out slightly less uh, well, well almost half as much power on UHF or they do in, in my experience anyway uh, it might it, your uh, your results might vary but uh, this is what I found to be the case anyway and uh, I'll, I'll see what difference low power makes we'll switch the radio into low power see what that what difference that makes so now we've got the radio switched into low power um, so we can get a focus on that Right, so we'll try on VHF now and see what it does. Yeah, we're getting uh, what we're getting there. Can't even read it. One watt, one watt on VHF. Let's change it to UHF. Turn it, turn it slow. Okay, let's try that again. That sh that should work now. Yeah. Okay. That's Things good. I do for radio. Right, it's cold and dark. So. Uh, what better uh, time to go out and test these two radios quickly? We've got the SDR in the house uh, recording, well we will do in a bit, and we'll just do a quick range check in the two, the two locations I used on my other video, so if you haven't seen that it's worth looking just to compare the audio, so we'll go and give it a try. There we go, we're not far away now. Five minutes will be there, two minutes will be there. Right, I'm here at the location, I must be mad. It's two degrees. I should be at home watching the TV. Right, let's start the recording on the tablet and then uh, start it. I'm going to remotely connect into my uh, into my computer with TeamViewer here to actually start it up. So we'll just do that. Right, we're here at location A. This is the UV 5R Plus in the dark. There's Banbury over there in the distance. Right, this is uh, G7LNK testing. G7LNK testing. Uh, Baofeng uh, UV uh, 5R Plus uh, G7 LNK testing at location A. This is uh, G7 LNK testing, G7 LNK testing, uh, Baofeng uh, UV uh, 5R Plus uh, G7 LNK testing at location A. Right, this is, this is the UV 5X, so give this a go. This is G7LNK testing the Baofeng UV5X at location A. This is G7LNK testing the Baofeng UV5X at location A. We haven't gone mad. Um, we came out here last night when it was dark, um, but the uh, I didn't start the recording on the SDR, so we've come out in the day with the little one. And uh, we brought the radios back out here just to do the six mile test. So this is the six mile UHF test with the two radios back to base. We're going to be recording it with the SDR. I'm just about to start the SDR recording with TeamViewer and uh, we'll see how that looks with these two radios. Right, we've, uh, we've got TeamViewer in on the, uh, on the PC. I don't know if that's focusing, but that's the SDR running at home. The TeamViewer running on my phone. So we'll start the uh, we'll start the SDR recording there. We hope that we can record the bass band and the audio, and then we'll see see how that sounds. Right, it's a bit lighter now, so we'll, uh, we'll try it with the UV five R plus. Been here before, of course. This is G seven LNK Golf seven Lima November Kilo at location B, approximately six miles with the UV five R plus the Bafang uh, running approximately three watts. Uh, location A test. Do it one more time. This is G7LNK portable testing, G7LNK portable testing, UV5R plus location A. This is G7LNK Golf 7 Lima November Kilo at location B, approximately six miles with the UV5R plus, the Bafang, uh, running approximately three watts, uh, location A test. G7LNK portable testing, G7LNK portable testing, UV5R plus location A. Alright, we're here with the UV5X. This is G7LNK Golf 7 Lima November Kilo at location B, approximately 6 miles with the Bafang UV5X testing. This is G7LNK slash portable at location B, approximately 6 miles, with the Bafang UV5X portable testing. This is G7LNK Golf 7 Lima November Kilo at location B, approximately 6 miles, with the Bafang UV5X testing. This is G7LNK 
G7LNK slash portable at location B, approximately six miles, with the Bafang UV5X portable testing. Right, I think that was a success. But well, here we go. We've got the SDR. I'm just filming the SDR over team viewer back at the uh, back at base, six miles away. And we'll try with the UV5X to give you a live version. I'm sat in the car as well. This is G7LNK, G7LNK at location B, at location B. Uh, testing, Bafang UV5X portable. And you see the little spike that's come up there and it's just gone. That was my signal from the Bafang. And in exactly the same position, we've got the signal from the Plus. And just turn the radio on. This is the signal from the UV5R Plus in the same location. This is G7LNK testing Bafang UV5R Plus, location B, approximately six miles. This is G7LNK portable testing Bafang um, UV5R Plus, approximately six miles. There we go. So I think I think maybe the Bafang had a slightly bigger power peak. We can perhaps check that later. So we'll stop the recording and see how we got on. What do you think about it? Well, that was a successful test. Um, I really like the UV5X, the, the Bafang. It's, um, it's, uh, it's a stylish looking radio, I think. It's nice and light. It's got very similar power levels to the Plus. Yeah. Um, you don't agree, do you? No. Uh, it's, um, it's really nice to use. It's got a really nice, really nice keypad and it, the illumination on it. Shoo, 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 I minute. Mean, that is recording. Um, it's got really nice, um, a really nice uh, keypad on it. And the power levels are really, really well. They're okay. They're not. They're on a par with the plus. Um, it comes with the standard stock air, the same as the the, the plus uh, comes with. Um, so it's not the best air, or you'll probably get the better out of this radio if you use a slightly better antenna. Ball in, I can definitely recommend it. It's supposed to be. They, they picture it as waterproof or splash proof. I'm not so sure about that. Um, and they also um, they also mention in some of the reviews I've seen that the. Um, that the uh, the scanning speed on the channels is quicker than than uh, the older Baofeng radios. I can't uh, say I've noticed that hugely, and I don't really use the scanning features that much on these radios anyway. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. My little end's uh, more keen now to play on the tablet. So uh, we'll uh, we'll see you on the next test. We've got some interesting things lined up. Cheers.